Hey, Celine Middle School, sixth grade. This is Mr. Foster, your annual bracketologist, and I'm here to draw for the sixth grade kickball classic. As you can see, we've got the bracket on the screen here. This is gonna be the same bracket for both the boys and the girls, so that the teams, the classes that I draw today, uh, we're gonna have a dual bracket. So it's gonna be the same teams in the same order. We'll have a girls bracket, we'll have a boys bracket, but we've got all the same orders. We've got 13 classes. Notice that we've got one team's going to have a buy up there, one team's going to have a buy here, and then one team's going to have a buy right there. I'm going to first draw for this eight seed right here, and I'm going to move right on down, and I'm going to leave three classes left in the bucket, and then we'll draw for the buys at the very end. So are we ready? Here we go. Team number one to come out of the bucket, they're going to be the eighth seed, and we've got Team Walsh. I know that Mr. Walsh, with all of his baseball coaching he's doing right now, he is going to have his boys and girls ready to uh, do all things kickball related. He's going to be ready. I know that for sure. So let's now go to the ninth seed. Mr. Walsh, could he play Mr. Brunty, his teammate? Could be anybody. Here we go for the ninth seed. And we've got Williams. This could be a very strong round one matchup. Mr. Williams, another sports fanatic. I know he's going to have his teams ready to go. So we've got a Walsh-Williams first round matchup for both the boys and the girls. We're now going to go to the four plan, the 13. Here we go. With our four seed, we've got Team Palka. Been spending a lot of time on the volleyball court lately. We're going to have to see if the time spent away from kickball, see what that does to her class this year. On to the 13 seed, Palka will play Collins, Coach Collins. Former kickball champion herself, Coach Collins. That's one where you know that class will be ready. All right, next up we've got the five and the 12. The five seed, Merkowitz, Team Merkowitz. Lining up for the five seed. Always interesting when we draw one team first or one, one member of a team first, Deandria's in this bucket. Will Merkowitz play Deandria? Merkowitz is gonna take on Foster. We've been ready for quite a while now. We've been renting indoor facilities, and uh, these teams will be ready. That's gonna be a great first round matchup there. Uh, I know Mrs. Merkowitz always has her teams ready, so looking forward to that. We're now gonna drop down here to the seven versus the 10. Team seven, seed number seven, we've got Schwarzenberger. She's spending a lot of time at baseball and softball games right now, noticing a lot of different strategies. She will be ready. All right, the 10 seed. Schwarzenberger will take on Deandria. So we've got Fosterberger taking on the, uh, the Merkowitz-Deandria duo there from Team Trio. Okay, all right, we've got two more teams within the bye. Down to the bottom left-hand side of the bracket right there, the six versus 11. Here we go, we've got Cronin. And I would like to mention that last year, Mrs. Cronin's girls were the champions. So they're gonna be looking to repeat. The Cronin girls were the champs last year. Cronin's gonna have her team ready. They're gonna take on the Streeter team. Team Streeter, always making a name for themselves in the tournament. They're back at it in 2019. Team Streeter. Now we've got three buys. Okay, we've got Brunty left in there. We've got Irby left in there. And we've got Team Pete left in there as well too. Let's draw for that number one seed up there. They're gonna get a buy, which means that they'll be taking on the winner of the Walsh Williams teams. We've got Brunty. We might see a Brunty versus, versus Walsh second round game. Brunty has a buy. Gonna move on to the two seed. They're gonna take on the winner of Schwarzenberger, DeAndrea. We've got Irby. This is gonna be Mrs. Irby's last kickball classic as she enters the world of retirement. I'm sure she'll be coming back to officiate and referee a lot of these games in the future. This is gonna be Mrs. Irby's last kickball classic. So we've got Mr. Pete last. Mr. Pete's team will take on the winner of Cronin and Streeter. And then there is your 2019 sixth grade kickball classic bracket. Good luck to everybody. 
We want to see some really, really good sportsmanship this year. Uh, your teachers will be talking to all of you about sportsmanship because that's really our number one concern with all of this. We're going to have a lot of fun rolling the bracket out, but sportsmanship is the key as we continue on. So good luck to everybody. We'll see you soon.